Boys, I, I work on five key principles and I'm going to keep discussing this throughout today and on the DVD and I class them as the five battles of the breakdown. So battle one is the battle to get into space, okay? Which means beating defenders, not taking the contact, trying to move into space. That's the battle to get into space. The next one is the battle to get to ground. Okay, so I know that the tackle's been made or the contact's been made. The next battle that I've got in my hands is to get to ground on my terms. The next thing, and this is the key that we're going to talk about at the moment, is the battle to present. And there's a number of different presentations we can use. So I'm just going to go through each one individually. I'm going to bring in referee input. and I'm also going to bring Dion in just for a little bit of extra skills and, and technique that we want to see in there. So if I can use yourself to start with, and I give you the ball, and you're playing towards me, and this is just a straight walk into me, just so we can make sure that everyone understands this. I want you, first of all, just to do a cross-field presentation. So you're going to be lying across the field and get the ball off your chest, obviously, as quick as you can, OK? So nice and easy, down you come, and in, and ball away, OK? And that would be what I class as a cross-field presentation. Good and bad points to it. Good point is obviously it's been taken on your terms, the ball's away from your body, but it does make the gate very, very wide. If you just stand up again, I'll bring Dion in here. Is there any points you want to make on ball carrying? Yeah, just uh, Richie, important for me, um, as you know, before contact, it is important for you to run with the ball in both hands. But just before you go into contact, it's important for you to get a strong thumb carry on your chest firm here. Uh, to uh, fend off the guy before contact with a strong handoff and then it enables you to do a proper placing. Okay, if you carry the ball um, alongside you, the guys might come in for double tackle, um, you might lose this ball in contact. So it's very important after the two-handed carry to go into a strong thumb carry to get the ball away from contact and to place it from there. I'd possibly add as well, boys, if you carry the ball in this front position, especially if you're playing against a defensive team that try to lock you in, you're going to really struggle to get the ball off your chest quickly. So you've got to protect that ball. And it's a, it's a simple key point to the whole start of a breakdown is you must protect the ball. We don't want the opposition to get it. So good point from Dion. That was a cross-field presentation. This time I want you to do a downfield presentation. Downfield again, just walk into me, nice and easy. Keep that ball down and we'll literally recoil. Good lad, excellent. And we get a long placement. I want to see this toe in the grass. So everything's absolutely rock solid. So you are actually the foundation that my whole breakdown attacking formation is going to be built on. If you're weak or you're soft on the ground, then it's going to allow me as a defender to dominate you. You're not going to get a good placement and it's not going to be a good setup. So that is excellent. What does it do to the gate, boys? What does it do? Very, very narrow gate. So everything is long and thin instead on the last placement across, which is very wide. OK, up you get again. OK, so that's the second placement. The third one, I'm going to bring the referee in here, Rasta. I want you to give me your, your point of view is a roll, what I call a roll. Now, for me, if you come into me again, all right, into space this time and you're down, and then you do that extra roll, then present, is that legal? Richie, what's very important here is that the player cannot optionally choose to take an extra roll. It's got to be a momentum roll. OK, so you cannot stop, then roll again. What Absolutely. we're saying is it must be through momentum. He hits the ground, he rolls and he presents, and it's all done in one movement. Absolutely, Richie. Happy. OK, up we get. OK, next one. Squeeze ball, and again, I want you to come in again, Rasta. Yes. Squeeze ball at the lower levels. We're keeping this out of the game. But if you just watch this again, it's an upfield, down, you drive. That ball then released from your chest immediately. Richie, just to emphasize, the squeeze ball is allowed in South African rugby. But, however, it, from under 13 and below, we do not allow the squeeze ball. OK, and for quick front foot ball, I want that ball out of there. I want my cleaners in and I want the ball away. OK, up we get again. OK, last one is what I class as a question mark presentation. It's the one where myself and Dion might dominate you in defence. We might drive you back and you're going to do anything you can just to get that ball perfectly placed for our cleaners to take myself and Dion away and the nine to clear or whoever that player may be. So in this case, there's no right and wrong. You're trying your best to get that ball and we keep it. Okay, so it could happen anyway. So let's just, in you come, we hit, we drive, we put you back, and all of a sudden you could get back to this position here, 
toe in the grass, good strong position, you've managed to get the ball away. At the end of the day, that keeps us on the front foot. OK, up we stand. OK, boys, what we're going to do now is we're just going to take on our presentations that we've talked about and just put them into a very simple drill. But the one thing I will say is, ironically, the breakdown is a failure because it means that we haven't been able to keep the ball alive. So what I want to see is I want to see movement, I want to see feet, and I always want to try and see you beat this first man. In this drill, I want to see agility before contact, we call it ABC, agility before contact. And then I want to see you drop your height, and then we're going to set up our presentations in here, and we're just going to go through each presentation. So you boys give a bit of uh, heat on them, but I want to see the presentations that we've talked about being carried out. Rasta, you can chip in any time you want if you've got anything to add by law. Dion, keep an eye on carry and any little points of detail. Okay, so, key thing for me in a drill, I want to see reaction first, then we do the job. All right, so every time before you get this ball, I want you up and down, quick, alert, hands up, bit of noise. We beat the first bag, then we do presentation. Let's go, first of all, for an extended placement. Okay? Yes, good, good, good. Feet, good lad, good lad, good lad. Extend, 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 extend. Good man, get your legs round, toe in the grass, strong position. Excellent, up we get. Okay, quite happy, Dion? Yeah, good, good work. All I would say to you is always try and rub out the grass. Don't place the ball, rub the ball along the grass, get it away from your body, then it's an iron grip, strong grip. Because remember, the last thing I want is feet kicking it, your cleaner's coming in there, everything's in line and it's down the tunnel. So that was the extended placement, excellent. This time I want to see you on a cross field, okay? Go. Yep. Good lad, good feet, good man. Well done, cross field, excellent. Ball away from your body again. And this time instead of the legs being round, they're across, up we get, excellent, good lad. Okay, this time, very important, squeeze ball. We've talked about it already. We've made emphasis that it's banned a certain age group in South Africa, the junior age, as you said, Rasta. But older we go, we can bring it in, but it's got to be done properly. The last thing I want to see is a player carrying the ball in and dive bombing into the grass. All right, that's how you're going to get injured. You're going to get problems with head, concussion, neck injuries. So you've got to make sure that you drop your body height you're driving square, you're staying as square on as you can, your legs are working hard, so no soft feet. I want to see those studs in the grass, I want to see you ploughing forward, but you've got to make sure as you go to ground that you protect with this leading arm. So you're going to go down into that position, then the ball comes back immediately. You don't have ball in between your legs and pretty much dive bomb into the grass. Let's see how you go. Good. Hands, feet. Good, good, good. Legs, 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 legs. Well done. Excellent. Done. Spot on. Excellent. Up we come. And I would even say if you can practice, always keeping that elbow here and that one hand controls. And remember, you're trying to get it off your chest as quick as you can. If you keep it on that chest for too long, as a stealer, I'm in, I'm over, I'm clamping you. You'll not get the ball out of there. Quite happy with the carry? Yeah, just... As he goes into contact, Devon, I just want you to give a more power step to get away from contact so that you can get this hand out and be quick with the placement, OK? OK, let's go again. We'll do the squeeze again. It's important that we get it right. OK, play. Step him, step him. Leg drive, leg drive, leg drive, leg drive. In, squeeze, gone. Excellent. Up we get. Good, good. Well done. OK, this time we're going to do a roll. And remember again, you can only roll with momentum. You can't stop and then roll again. So you've got to get yourself past the first man, into space, then you're going to drive into ground, then you bring in the roll. Am I correct? 100%. Top man, ref, top man. OK, are we ready? Go. Good. Up and down. Movement. Good, 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 good. Roll. Present, present, present. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Good stuff. Up we come. And the last one we've talked about, the question mark presentation, it's going to happen sometime in the game if there's 140, 160 breakdowns, odds on there's going to be a time where you're caught and you've just got to get the ball back any way you can. Try and get yourself back into that extended position, try and keep the iron grip on the ball and let's have the ball in a plate for our nine or whoever's clearing their, clearing their pass. Ready? Play! 
Good, good, good. Feet. Good man. Well done, well done, well done, well done. That's it. That's good enough for me. Excellent. Well done. Up we come. Now, just to show you one thing that you can take it on, if you just stand two or three metres away and we walk in this time, although it's illegal, but for the drill, I want to see the bags come over the top of them and try and make it really difficult for him to present the ball. So he's having to really push the ball away underneath those bags. And let's go for an extended place here, okay? Go. Good lad, good lad, good lad. Yes, well done. Push, 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 push. Excellent. Well done. And then bag off. So we can develop drills where we're really having to work hard on the ground. Excellent work, boys. Well done. <laughs>